Ezekiel 29 begins with a four-chapter series of prophecies against Egypt. And you could ask, why four chapters? Was Israel really that bad that they required four chapters of prophecy in the Bible? Well, the short answer is yes. But Pastor David Guzik gives us some much-needed insight. In his Enduring Word commentary, Pastor David said, this was necessary because even though Egypt had held Israel in slavery for 400 years, Israel also had an impulse to look to Egypt in times of crisis. Even in Jeremiah's and Ezekiel's days, they still looked to Egypt for help instead of trusting God and His plan. The prophecy itself is for Egypt's complete and utter destruction. Listen to what the Lord said beginning in verse 3. I am your enemy, O Pharaoh, king of Egypt, you great monster lurking in the streams of the Nile. For you have said the Nile River is mine. I made it for myself. I will put hooks in your jaws and drag you out on the dry land with your fish sticking to your scales. I will leave you and all your fish stranded in the wilderness to die. So what's with all the fish? And this monster in the Nile, what's that about? Well, here's some interesting history about Egypt. The crocodile was one of Egypt's most dangerous and feared animals, and as such, it was deified, it was worshiped. In addition, Pharaohs often identified with animals because of strengths or abilities that they wanted to emulate. And the Pharaoh at this particular point in history? You've got it. The crocodile was the animal he chose to represent himself. So his princes and his people were compared to lesser fish. See, God was speaking to a specific Egyptian pharaoh and his subjects using imagery they could truly understand. And don't miss the timelessness of God's word in this description. A neighbor of mine was the guy that the county would call to remove nuisance alligators. And to this day, the method by which gators, big and small, are caught is by hook and line. When the Lord said, I will put hooks in your mouth and drag you out on dry land, that's precisely how it's done, even today, right here in our neighborhood.